<laughs> and that, ladies and gentlemen, is exactly why we're filming this video today. Now, everybody has their own type of junk in their lives. Whether you're a painter, and that means a whole lot of paintbrushes that you don't actually ever touch. Whether you make things out of fabric, and you've just got fabric coming out of your ears, which you bought a long, long time ago because you thought it was really pretty and it really looked lovely in the sunlight, but you never actually touch it because it never goes with anything else that you're making. Mine is makeup and clothes. <laughs> let's just face the facts. Oh, let's hide these straps. That rhyme was pretty pleasing though. <laughs> you know when you've probably got a bit too much of something when you go and reach for one of those things and the rest of it falls on top of your head or face or body or anything. If I want anything, if I want to do my face, if I want to put, my, put clothes on my body, the entirety of the rest of my options come with that. I'm going to move the camera down a bit so you can actually see what we're working with here because it's a little bit of a state. Filming anything always doubles, maybe even triples the amount of time it would take to do it. When it's not on camera, fun fact, if you don't do a lot of filming, that's the truth. And I'm moving out soon. I know I talk about that a lot and I know it feels like I've said that for about three years, but no, I am moving out soon and I need to declutter as much as possible to make the actual moving process a whole lot easier. Now, makeup, is, makeup and clothes are the two things I need to focus on the most. So I have been asked to do this video so, so much. So I've got this one here, which is a little silver drawer that I decluttered or gave you a tour of in the second video of the one I just mentioned. And also this drawer here that kind of sits below my dressing table that I don't ever use. So Oh, it's so heavy. I think what will be fun is just leaving it and not doing this because it's the worst thing ever. Does anyone else hate decluttering? <gasps> There's people out there that actually enjoy it. You stress me out. So I don't really know how this happened, but the first uh, drawer of my makeup drawer kind of turned into a medication drug drawer. This is mainly because of Adam. I don't typically take a lot of paracetamol or painkillers or hay fever stuff. He does. So I started just banging it somewhere in my room. Next minute it's taken over my makeup. I don't even know what, what, what even is this? This was for something my doctor gave me at one point. This is Benadryl for hay fever. Cranberry extract, <coughs> there's dust in here. <coughs> Cranberry extract. Like all this, this is fast allergy relief stuff. Period pain stuff. Some of this stuff I don't need. Like I don't even have hay fever. <laughs> this is, disgusting and dusty but it's a um palette by scarlet and crimson i don't know how many of you guys remember this this was in my first declutter video from years ago it's old i'm clearly not using it this is a color me buff by whatever i don't i'm not gonna use that i've got the naked palette now i'm just spinning that i still like MUA for some things not black eyeshadow because i've got so many black eyeshadow i don't need that anymore an avon palette purple haze I, I, I have purples. I don't need that. I'm. I need to be in a really like harsh mood and just chuck so much shit away. No, a white MUA. No. Oh, some eyelash glue. Yes, we'll need that. By the way, that is Duo adhesive glue. They're really good. A Smashbox. Oh, this is actually really nice. This is a Smashbox full exposure eyeshadow duo. Duo. And it's actually quite pretty. I remember showing this ages ago. Look at that. Ooh, in a decluttering video. And I never touched it. And the whole point of doing this video is to make my, my collection as small as possible. So I actually make the use of other things that I forgot existed. Okay, look at the state of that. I, I can't keep this stuff. Ugh. I'm not gonna bin medication. I'm not that silly. I'm gonna keep it. I'm just gonna kind of keep it at the back of the door. If I need it, I can bury my little face in there and find something. It's like playing Tetris, but with medication. God, that's when adult life hits you. Another MUA palette. I, guys. Okay, I know that I used to have a big craze where I spoke about MUA like it was the, the dog's bollocks. It is still pretty nifty for the price you're paying for it, but I can't afford to have the space for 1200 million MUA palettes. I need to kind of prioritize bigger, more expensive things as horrible as that sounds because I don't have a lot of room and I need to, I'm moving. I can't, this is an empty box. 
Why do I have an empty box? I don't need an empty box. I feel like I'm being a lot more shouty, aggressive and harsh in this one than I ever have been for all of my other ones. I, I, what? Okay, I keep boxes because I think they look cute at the time, but then you look back at it and you're just like, what? why are you doing this? This was the PR kit that Urban Decay sent me when they sent me the Naked Heat palette. And I kept this because I was like, oh my God, I'm on Urban Decay's PR list. And I was getting so many bum frills. I was so chuffed with myself just generally very impressed with my life and where it was going. And they sent me a few things throughout the year and now they just haven't. So I guess they removed me from their PR list. Calms, more drugs. <laughs> Adult life is when medication starts replacing your makeup. <laughs> this is a, um, a bronzer from M uh, MUA actually and can't remember if this was good or not. I probably will keep this because I'm always running out of bronzer. Oh, I used to love that. Okay, this is smashed to pieces. So don't need that. <laughs> I, I kept this because it was Avon and they're like bronzer beads, but I've never touched it. Never will. Stop kidding yourself. Here's a brush, comb, great, thanks. A bronzing powder thing I got for like a pound when I was desperate for bronzer. Oh, a Mali, a Mali concealer. Don't use it anymore all about the Ramel London. I'm acting really snobby in this. I'm not like looking at the makeup and going, ew, bronzer, that was a pound. It's the dust. It's like disgusting touching all of this stuff. Let's have a look at this one. Some Feminax. Is there even any in this? Okay, there's one. I'll throw the box. I can keep that. I don't know why this is in here, but this was a ticket to a stripper show that I went to in Amsterdam. It was a mate, no, not a stripper show. It was a, it was a full on sex show. I watched people have sex on the stage. I'm keeping that because it's just fond, fond memories. Dream Up Moose sat in liquid foundation. Who remembers that? This is a box for Bobbi Brown's uh, gel sparkle shadow, which is actually really nice, but I don't need the box. Some old brushes here, uh, Makeup Forever brushes, some like Amazon kit brush that I got. This is a nice brush to be fair. This is from Real Techniques. Do I just clean this or bin this? How long are you supposed to keep brushes for? This has seen better days. I'm gonna bin this. I, I, just, I don't even know what, oh, it was an Estee Lauder brush. I probably got this from my nan to be fair. <laughs> I don't like the feel of this brush. It's too like bristly and blah. I've got cookies in here. Adult life is replacing makeup with cookies. I kept these because they were given to me by Russell Brand. Don't ask. So yeah, keeping those. This is, I tried this out. Who was this from? Elizabeth Arden. One of those like spongy things you put foundation on. I hated it, it's so stiff and hard and everyone was like, put make uh, put water on it and it just made no difference. Um, a pack of playing cards, a lot more valuable to my life than makeup these days. This is a palette by Iman. Didn't really like it that much, if I'm gonna be honest. The only cool thing about it was this, oh wow. <gasps> Can I keep it just for that? It's got this really nice gold lip. Ooh, oh, I wish I could just rip that out. Look at the gold um, lip at the bottom there. That is really lovely and shiny. And can I pick you out? Is that... And actually there's a nice sparkly black. I, I will keep this. Um, I've got a big pack here of brushes. I think I was sent this, this kit. I'll pick some of them that I like. I don't know if you guys can tell whether you like a brush from just feeling the top of it. I do that. I know if I'm gonna get on with a brush. I'm just touching it up with my finger. That might sound a bit strange, but it's how I choose my men. Don't like the feel of that one. Don't like the feel of that one. Or that one. Or that one. Or that one. <laughs> Eyeliner is probably like a million years old. Don't even want to look at that. Oh my god, I used to use this all the time. This one for my bronzer. This one for my highlighter. Loved this, but... I don't like these types of brushes. The hard bristly ones that are flat like that. I feel like your blush. I just... It's always hard when you know the name of the brand, you think other people will cringe at me doing this, but it's not about the, the brand. And I say this all the time when it comes to cheap stuff. If you like it, keep it. If you don't, don't. You never need to, you know, change your mind because of Mark Jacobs. Who's texting me on the train heading to yours? Yay! Oh wait, I'm just uh, making a mess. <laughs> I should hurry up. <laughs> okay, let's hurry up this process.
By the way, I'm being really like mental with this one because I know how old this stuff is and I know I haven't touched this in so long. So there's pretty much no reason for me to keep any of this stuff. That was by L'Oreal. Really small little pencils left from, from MUA. Like there's no point in me keeping that. And oh, tiny little tester bottle of Luna by Nina Rishi. Rishi. Mm. Yes, okay. Uh, Maybelline, I, this stuff, this is all out of date. I can't keep this. Like, it would not be good for me. Empty Avon lipstick bottles. A gr really nice green eyeliner, actually. Although I've now been introduced into the wonderful world of NYX and their lovely eyeliners. Um, so I won't keep this because I've found a better brand. YSL. This was actually sent to me, a YSL bloody mascara. I kept the box because I was so chuffed with having a YSL mascara because I'm such a lame ass twat. But I used it on the mascara, so there's no point in me keeping the box. Bobbi Brown lips, lip gloss though. I'm not a massive fan of lip gloss. This smells like chocolate. I will keep this though. Um, this is a NARS body glow. I sh I've shown this in my last makeup collection. It's supposed to just make your body glow. Ooh, am I glowing now? Do I glow? So this is a liquid blush by Daniel Sandler. I'm not a blush person. Shake vigorously. Uh, squeeze a tiny dot of colour onto water brush or fingertip and blend onto cheek. This might help me put blush on because I absolutely hate putting blush on. <gasps> Ooh, wow. Daniel Sandler. What are you doing to me, boy? Okay, keeping that. This is an, a NARS, what is this even for? An eyeshadow pencil, but you just smudge it over your eye to give yourself like a dusty eye look. But I never have a dusty eyeshadow look. I might ask my sister if she wants that. I'm gonna start a sister pile. False lash effect mascara. I don't even wanna know how old that is because it's so grim. Airbase mascara, what even is that? This was the YSL that I got given. Look, you ready, you ready? So there's a little thing here and you go, ooh. Wait, is this even YSL? <laughs> no, is, this is this is not YSL. Oh, can you tell why I'm not a guru yet? But no, this is actually really nice. It's like a lovely baby soft pink thing by Guerlain. Guerlain. It's a really nice brand though. You can tell it's fancy schmancy. Empty MAC lip color. This is this makes your um lips boost. It's a booster lip product as it very clearly says in the obnoxious writing on the front but I found a much better lip booster product which I will show you in a minute so hang on tight. <gasps> I've been looking for this. This is Jean-Michel Basquiat 24-7 Glide on Eye Pencil. Really good. Oh god it needs sharpening but yeah this is this was from their artsy range. I'll go into some more stuff I got from them. Concealer. <laughs> this is for sure seen better days. Look how flat it is. I loved this though. It was really good. This is is a MAC lip pencil. Oh god. Oh yeah, I remember this. I didn't like it. Oh, a blue lip pencil. Lip pencil? Oh no, eyeliner pencil. I just got a bit excited about that. I will keep that because I'm obnoxious. And this is another Urban Decay Basquiat, but this is in a... I was looking for this in my electric palette that I've got from Urban Decay. Is it Urban Decay who does the electric palette? There's a colour that's just like this one and I keep wanting to find a colour just like this to put in my waterline for when I do that look and now I have. It's like a really nice highlighter yellow green. Oh, it's so nice. And another empty lip pencil. Oh, a Velvetees MAC lip pencil. Hopefully I still got that somewhere in my actual stuff that I use over here because I really love their Velvetees collection. I'm a really big fan of Max Velvetees, just letting you know if you want to know what's on my lips all the time. And some MUA Boost Lash Boom. It, it's old, I don't want to touch that. And a sharpener. So I have a brand new empty drawer again and I can start putting the things in here that I religiously use, which is the reason I bought this in the first bloody place. It is the glorious Skinny Dip design. Bloody love me some Skinny Dip. I love a little makeup bag. I've got, I literally thought that was a spider then, just shut myself. Uh, Urban Decay jean Machard Basquiat bronzer, highlight bronzer and blush. I almost forgot the word because I never use it. I'm gonna put the bronzers and skin stuff with the medication because there will be the least of that. <laughs> 
I hope. Foundation. I use this religiously at the moment. This, well, this is getting to the good stuff now. This is the actual stuff you came here for. L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Foundation. I have the shade Linen because I'm a pale little girl. So Blank Canvas is a brand that I really like at the moment. This is an alright brush, so I'll keep the brushes in this. I know you're supposed to keep brushes in pots. <laughs> I have nothing else to back that. I just can't be bothered to find a pot right now. So this is another powder brush by Blank Canvas. I really like Blank Canvas. Um, this is just a, a sketchy old Amazon set of brushes I got ages ago. And like I say, if it works, it works. And this works. It's all right. This is by um, the brand Luxie. They recently sent me a load of really pretty rose gold brushes. And I really love these. A highlighting brush. And I use that still for my highlight obviously. Oh, this is the lip pumping product I was telling you about. I'm really liking it, at the moment, liking it at the moment. It does tingle a little bit, so if you don't like that kind of sensation, then stay away, but I kind of am getting a little bit addicted to it, not gonna lie. By No Thin Lips, and it says Secret, secret Lip Plumper, and I usually just put it on um, before I wear me lip colour. And also, the Ofra um, liquid, long lasting liquid lipstick in Verona is something I use a lot as well. I'm a pretty big fan of nude lipstick, um, lip gloss, lip stain, all that sort of stuff. Going back to MUA, see, I, I do still use MUA. This is from their metallic range that they recently bought out. So pretty and gorgeous. I was really impressed with these. I thought I wasn't going to like them, but they've, they've done a really good job in like proper princessy looks. Very feminine looks and pink looks and pastel looks, or just when I want to look like I'm straight out of the 90s again. Really loving that. This is a really big <laughs> pink um, lip gloss in shebang by Buxom. Buxom. And I'm starting to get into lip glosses a little bit. I'm warming towards them, although they still do piss me off a bit, so I will keep that. Glitter glue. This is by Too Faced. Very important. When you're an obnoxious lady who um, likes putting glitter on her face and needs something to stick it on with, duh. It might be a bit pricey, but it's worth it. And I've had this for so long. I think I've had this for two summers now. And summer is when you're always putting on glitter, obviously, because of festival season. What section would this go in? I guess this would go in my face section. I got some primer, which was, which this stuff's really cool. It's light reflective brightening primer. And eliminator. I put this on when I when I'm going to be around a lot of lights, or maybe just if I feel like my skin needs brightening up a bit. If I'm feeling a little bit under the weather, or just a bit blah, this adds a little bit of oomph to my face. So I'm definitely keeping that. I'll keep that in the face section. I've got a blusher from Note. Like I said, don't really like blusher all that much, but I'm trying my best to kind of wriggle into it a bit because I think it does look nice on people. I just need to get in the knack of how to put it on. This is in Desert Rose, which is a really nice name and it is a nice color if I was to wear blusher I would wear this like a orangey pink because I don't like it when it's like you know like clown pink that's a bit much god I've, I've used this brush for a long long time this is real techniques in their something range they had a range where they Bore out brushes like this. God, I'm so educational. But I'll keep that. And Urban Decay, double-ended as well. Double-ended brushes are pretty good. That's why I'm keeping these because I'm quite a lazy makeup applier. You guys know me. I'm not really someone that's extensive and does all these like crazy things. I just want to get my makeup done, have it look cool, have it look funky, have it look fresh, but quickly. And double-ended brushes are genius for that because you just have to like swizzle it around and you're done. This is some eyeshadow primer potion. It's a tiny little tester. I still haven't used all of this. It's by Urban Decay. It's a tiny little sample. I must have been given this in a makeup box subscription or something um, to kind of get me back into the habit of wearing eyeshadow primer. And I've just started a new drawer for eyeshadows. Oh, my favourite drawer. This is a waterproof bourgeois Paris contour. Nope, not contour. This is pink eyeliner, which looks really bloody cool. So I'm gonna turn Australian. This is another brush, it's an angle brush. I use this all the damn time for kind of going over my waterline or maybe even drawing a wing with some eyeshadow. But it's literally just an Amazon cheap S. Um, kit that I got. So once again, brands brands don't always matter. In fact, sometimes they never matter at all. I got this um, Urban Decay Jean-Michel Basque <laughs> lipstick, which I've really used because it looks almost done now. And it's like a nude. Um, it's just really, really good. And I love it. What color is this in? Epigram. Half of the time I am wearing this. So if you ever see me with brown lips, 
this is why although i will say if brands ever do matter it's for makeup brushes because makeup brushes change your makeup game just a tip for those of you who are trying to get better at makeup never underestimate the power of a good makeup brush a little kit of stars from stargazer spectrum glitter stars i got this on amazon for dead dead cheap ass money and they've lasted a long long time and when people see this on my face they're like wow that's really cute where did you get that girl it was like two pounds on amazon another makeup bag i always use which seems to have everything fallen out of is this one by Sass and Bell, I think. It's like a jungle themed one. NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick. Love this, really enjoy this. I like NYX's bright colors in anything, pretty much. I love their eye uh, liquid eyeliners. I love their lipsticks, really good. Oh, this is sad. This is Urban Decay's Trouble Making Mascara. I did hold on to this because it's just so pretty. Like, look at its beauty. How can you possibly want to throw this away? It was good. <laughs> You can tell how dry this is just by listening to that. <laughs> it's not needed. It's not necessary. It's just taking up silly, silly room. But it was good. You were good while you lasted. I kept this because it's a really nice glittery eyeshadow. It was like the bottom section of a Tarte double-ended thing. And I only kept the gold part because the other part I didn't like. So it's just got a random awkward brush hanging on the other end. Lock and Roll Eyeshadow Duo. I've, sh I've shown this in a video before. I've got a half a product here and I don't really care because I think the actual glittery part is really really damn beautiful and if you don't agree then i don't believe ya i don't actually like this and i keep holding on to it it's bourgeois paris just like this gray but it's it's it it almost is see-through it's really annoying it's not very pigmented so i'm finally saying goodbye this is soap and glory's thick and fast super volume mascara i liked this and i didn't at the same time like i don't miss it basically i don't have fond memories of this it's like a million years old so oh it's the silver version of that other, of that product you just saw <laughs> roll-on products are really good if they're glittery they're really good for once again like sparkly vi festively vibes just to like kind of dust around your face i don't know i love roll-on products for that reason <laughs> this is another one of those um eyeliners i told you about you know the the green one we had earlier it's by flash mob they're oh they're all right they were all right while they lasted but ever since i've been introduced to nyx there's no point me keeping a million different brands that do the same thing. <laughs> oh, this is um, Max, a MAC lip pencil in Bittersweet. This is a nice lip pencil and I haven't continued using this because I'm scared of this going, like running out. But I really like MAC lip pencils. They're really good. Bittersweet, it's like a brown. It's quite dark as well. So I kind of wear it when I'm doing more gothic looks because it doesn't it doesn't come out as black it's still dark brown but it doesn't feel as harsh and i don't feel as self-conscious wearing it because sometimes when you wear black lipstick it kind of feels like it's gonna go everywhere and it's just a bit petrifying brown and nude lips are my favorite colors to wear can you tell oh this is a little packet i got on amazon of just a bunch of different um gems like stars and hearts and diamonds and stuff i think this was originally for nails like nail art people but i thought it would be fun to get it for my um glitter glue so i can stick some cool things on my face when i'm doing more creative designs and that might be a fun idea for any of you you don't even necessarily need to have anything in mind at the time when you're buying it just go and get a load of like nail art stuff and then stick on your face and then yeah do something cool i don't know <laughs> whoa see this is a very bright red lipstick i like a red lip but this is to another level it is a little bit crazy and a little bit in your face this is by avon in perfect reds i think i was given this in a pr package or something and then i wore this and my boyfriend was like you look really good in red it gives you like this vintage look and i was like okay i'm gonna wear red lips for the rest of my life thank you is anyone like really swayed with what their boyfriend says? Not in like a controlling way, but if he's like, that dress looks really good on you. You're like, I'm gonna wear this dress for the rest of my life. <laughs> I will probably chuck this. I've had this for a while. It's up in the smoke. Do you remember this? This is an old one. Does, does, did anyone else have this? I mean, the white was always nice. I think I might've kept it for the white. I've got some other whites now, so. God, that kind of hurt my heart a little bit. I don't like chucking eyeshadow palettes. This is a Deco of Scarlet palette. I didn't like this as much as I had hoped. It was the first palette Deco of Scarlet, no, the third one Deco of Scarlet ever brought out. No, I'm not gonna, no, I don't, no. <laughs> Another MUA palette. And to be fair, if it's MUA and the colors are super, super, super bright and in your face, I will probably make use of some of these colors. If I'm doing a look and I'm like, oh my God, I don't have this eyeshadow color, then at least I can go back to my trusty old MUA palettes. 
Hello. So the train went past East Worthing, so I'm in Worthing now. Obviously keeping this naked Urban Decay heat palette. Hallelujah. Ha. Hallelujah. 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 <laughs> Blends flawlessly. It's pretty and golden and sparkly. It's got a white there. It's got some darks. It's got some <gasps> pales and nudes and... Mm. And Urban Decay Electric. I really like this palette. My favourite colours in this one are the silver, the purples. I love the green recently. Really digging that. The teal's really nice. I mean, I love them all, really. So this is definitely staying. If you're trying to get into a new style of makeup, which is basically obnoxious eyeshadow, then use this. Buy this as your first bright eyeshadow palette because it's really easy to use and blendable and all that jazz. So I've also got some palettes from the Urban Decay Jean Basquiat set. <laughs> this first one is a more like a nudey slash a bit random how it kind of goes into a gold here but it's really pretty. Gold and a blue but in general Urban Decay's sort of uh, colours and their textures and their blending is really good so I'm gonna snap up any of those that I possibly can. This is that really bright, obnoxiously looking palette that I always whip out for those rather in your face looks. And I just love the blue and greens. I love all of the colors actually. This is a mascara. I am actually using this at the moment. It's Wanda, Wanda Beauty. I can't even remember who this was by. I unboxed this in a BoxyCharm video. But I am actually really liking this. There's a lot of curl and length that this gives your lashes. There's not really a real point of me showing you this like this because there's nothing on the actual tub. Duo glue, eyeshadow glue. Oh, I forgot all about this. This is Too Faced No Filter Selfie Powders. I got this ages ago and it kind of started collecting dust in the bottom of, of my... Uh, stash but it has a highlight two different highlights two different like sort of looks it can give you it can give you this kind of yellow glow and then it can give you a blue hue um and then a really nice totally toasted bronzer as well i should probably get back into this i mainly like this because of the packaging i'm not gonna lie i'm gonna be that girl who's like oh the packaging so nice oh wow Old mascaras, uh, Maybelline, New York mascara, Lash Sensational. I do actually use this normally on a regular basis, so I'm only using that one I'm using now because it was in a subscription box, but this is what I usually use. That's very dry, so I'm chucking that one out and I'll get another one soon. There is another one. Is this one dry? Yep, another dry, Maybelline. Um, this one, is this a dry? Oh, that's almost usable. I will keep that. Oh, this is an eyeshadow palette. I can't get along with this. I probably will give this to a family friend who, or maybe my sister, who uh, likes makeup. This is the Around the World Cargo Cosmetics. Some of you guys were trying to teach me how to put this on properly because I was like so lost and confused about it. Didn't really like the feel it gave me, but some people might like it. I don't know. I found it cool because of all the shades and named after different places. Amsterdam, London, Paris, Rome but I just can't get along with London, Paris and Rome. <laughs> They're very chalky in my eyes and on my eyes. This is actually a random brush from a massive kit of loads of brushes from another random Amazon brandless brand. <laughs> but it it's really interesting how this one stuck out like a sore thumb. It's for uh, contouring and I just really like it and I use it every day now and it's just so random how just the smallest brush stood out from the rest and did the best job out of all of them. It's very interesting with stuff like that. Like sometimes you can't get mad at all the brushes for not being perfect for you. Sometimes it's just one of those things and you just have to like pick the one that feels most comfortable and fitting for you. Do I keep boxes for these products? If you're the type of person who buys makeup for collection purposes, then maybe. Do you know, because these are nice palettes, I will. Ooh, this is a cool palette I collect. I bought just for pure collection purposes. It's the BH Cosmetics Galaxy Chic uh, 18 color baked eyeshadows, which are all named after different planets. And that's the main reason I got this, because I'm extra as hell. So it's got like Jupiter, Sun, Venus, Saturn, Comet, Earth, Neptune, and it is a bit gimmicky. You might be like, well, what's the actual point? Like, they're not too bad. The shades aren't too bad. Like, look at that. They're they're pretty pretty, and you can make some pretty <laughs> cute looks. I don't use this nowhere near as much as I probably should, but I will keep it because I really love the idea of it. Oh right, I'm probably gonna skip this video to part two tomorrow when I continue all of this because I'm sweating and I need a break. 
your local supermarket cheap ass makeup wipes they are always what's 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 worked best for me wipe off your your makeup at night time guys my sister got me this it's a makeup brush cleaning pad for my birthday from i believe it was primark i'm probably going to take it out of its packaging i got given this i mean i got given this this was in a boxy charm makeup box but i don't use gel eyeliner it's a chocolate gel eyeliner by bang beauty i'm probably gonna sell this because it's literally not going to be used in my presence shout out to my boxy charm unboxings give them a watch because i make them every month and they're fun i've just finished filming one now actually and this was the look that i made with the box it's a little bit dramatic and out there but we'll see through that what the frick i don't want this this is a dead ass ugly beauty blender don't use beauty blenders that aren't branded Ooh, this isn't makeup but this is a uh, water tease back home in a bottle big sexy hair it's volumizing hairspray it was just a little tub that i got sent uh it's not makeup i'm keeping this because it's banging i love big sexy hair does anyone remember when people went mad about nivea men post shave balm as primer there was a big hype everyone was buying it everyone was trying it when you bought this in the store people even knew what you were buying it for they were like oh i'm gonna use this as primer are you and then everyone just suddenly stopped talking about it well i still got a little bit left i'm gonna use it up until there's none left obviously it's just hilarious to me that we rave about things as humans and then shut up just as quick as we did perk up about it so this is another deca scarlet palette i got ages ago their first edition the very first one deca scarlet ever brought out there's a nice orange that i sometimes use and a nice green and a nice brown i could use actually this is an all right palette to be fair because it's also i mean i don't use the lip glosses on the side there because i don't like those yeah they're all gummy and gross highlight there called halo and there's a nice contour and those that brown orange and green eyeshadow will easily be used for something i'm sure crown pro oh, it's actually really beautiful like the colors in this remind me very much of the naked palette that everyone went absolutely ballistic for some really nice shiny shimmery goodness pretty affordable and look how gorgeous this packaging is wow look at that so yeah if you're after like a knockoff version for the naked palette i would actually recommend this to be honest got some um cream this is multifunction nourishing moisturizer by embryoli this is actually a really good brand to be fair i use their primers quite a lot and i use this moisturizer as a primer this is what it looks like i don't think you need to you know use a certain primer that everyone recommends like if you come across a nice moisturizer like a multi-functioning one you can use whatever the hell you want before you put your precious little makeup on this i use a lot this is by lord and berry it's the timeless lip uh, kiss proof lip proof kiss proof lipstick it's not exactly too glossy it dries matte so wow an old collection concealer oh this is sellotape, like really pretty glitter foil sellotape. As much as I love that, why is it in my makeup drawer? I don't know. I've been looking for this, my Vivid Bright. I love NYX's eyeliner. This is the lavender. Uh, yeah, I definitely recommend the NYX's eyeliners because they're really easy, they glide on, they stay all day, they're perfecto. Blending brush, perfecto. This is another one of those random brushes that I have no idea where it came from but they're actually really good. So that's gonna go in there. Oh my God, my trusty Collection Fast Stroke Eyeliner Liquid Perfect. This is what I use all the time. If you've ever wanted to know what's on my eyes, it's that. This is Flash Mobs Liquid Eyeliner. This is in blue. I think I chucked their green and pink one in this video, did I? I can't remember. But their blue one is actually like probably the most pigmented and the one I would keep the most. Look how bright that is. Look how bright that is. Clinique Quick Liner for Lips in Rich Red. This is pretty good for like when you don't really want to wear something really obnoxious on your lips um natural looking lips but also still red it's quite subtle it's it's nothing like my normal craziness oh my god uh Too faced lash injection does anyone remember this mascara i used to really really like this but this is very old i don't know what this is oh my goodness it stinks um this is a two-faced oh my god this has got battered and bruised a two-faced melted long lasting this is in melted villain i'm gonna chuck the uh case but i'll keep this um i've barely used this actually 
it's like in this fuzzy top here and then you squeeze the product out and it comes out at the end and then you kind of like dab it onto your lips and it's this um purple lip gloss and i don't usually like lip gloss as i tell you guys all the time but because it was purple and quite vibrant i quite enjoyed it so i did and i do want to keep that mua glow beam highlighting powder i forgot i even had this i actually got the wrong color by accident I saw this really pretty um, sample in the shop and then I realized soon that I, as soon as I got home that I actually picked up the wrong one. So that was annoying. So this isn't really my color that I would like highlight. However, I wanna keep it. Just in case my taste changes. I don't know, sometimes I'm hard to keep up with. I got a ton of these brushes. Um, I still don't know to this day if I like it or not. It's the Lux Studio, you know those they're really pretty. This is a Lime Crime product. Lime Crime drama. Does anyone remember that? I actually ordered from Lime Crime the same week that drama went down where they like empty pe empties emptied people's bank accounts. <sighs> Scary shit. So, um, I mean, it smells good because they put scent in it, but this is old. Oh, I've missed this. Aim to please Velvetees lip pencil. I always love saying that. This is by MAC. I really like their Velvetees range. Oh, this has run out. That's why I haven't seen it in so long. This is a Urban Decay primer. All of it rubbed off. Look at the look at the outside. Like what's happened there? I've almost used this up, which is really surprising. But yeah, I can't even tell you. I think this was hot. It says Hot Springs Hydrating Gel. I think it was their All Nighter Collection Primer. So really liked this. As you can tell, I've nearly used it all. This is my Caf Kidson. Um, Ew, what is that? This is the Gimme Brow by Benefit. This is probably not good to use anymore. I don't really, I didn't really necessarily like this that much. As you can probably tell by looking at my, my very obnoxious brows, I like a very defined over the top in your face brow. It's not for me contact lenses that are actually too weak for me now another flash mob liquid eyeliner this actually looks very similar to the lavender one i bought from nyx for probably double the price so what does that teach you folks uh an elf so this is a double-ended eyebrow product here and then you have the like highlight on the other side because I went through a phase of really loving highlight under my brow I mean I still do this is way too like st stubby and like stiff it doesn't cream on like I was hoping it would um oh I used to love this MUA's like three-in-one brow product this was banging it's so, like you use this to draw it on and then you twist it over and like blend it all out and then this you brush it all out it's really cool this product i was really impressed with this if you want to try a new brow product try muas uh three in one eyebrow magicness because that was really cool but i've used it all so this is a morphe brush that <laughs> that's just broken the brush has fallen off so oh archie triumph i used to love this i've kept this just for the highlight section which was actually my favorite part of the pro product anyway just to go under my brows. Actually, I bought that other product I just threw away because this was running out and then I panicked, but Elf is nothing, nothing on Soap and Glory's Arch de Triumph. Just saying. This is a eye crayon. Oh, I don't like these big fat eye crayons that kind of just like do that. Like what am I supposed to do with that? I don't have the talent to make that work. I also got this Laura Geller bronzer ages ago. Do you remember me telling you guys who was here when I said this reminded me of a nipple? Ew, it's got really gross. I might chuck this. It kind of looks like it's dying in on itself. This was actually given to me by my beautiful Nan who's actually passed away now. So um, I'm not gonna feel bad about throwing this away because she wouldn't want me to put like crap on my face um but yeah i really loved this i had fond makeup looks with this but rest in peace a tweezer it's a pink one as well oh it's probably seen better days but i'll put it in my miscellaneous drawer a lip liner by Ess uh, in the essence or something essence oh i can never have too many just nude lip liners i want to bung on this is a white eyeliner by nyc i bought this to put under my eyes like in my waterline to kind of make my eyes pop it isn't the best it is a little bit chalky and it's still pretty pigmented look caramel nugget nougat nugget i don't even know but i used to wear this literally every bloody day and it was my 
staple but i always always had this in my lips this is actually a brow brush from the fab brows palette it's sometimes good to keep the brushes in palettes folks even if you don't keep the palette anymore this is tarts uh lip gloss mm, it's a lip gloss i don't think i did like this that's probably why i have barely used it i could have just sold this oh it smells good i can't sell it now that i've opened it up and stuff i don't like lip glosses i just think they make you look like you just got wet lips really and i don't know i'll give it another try i think i've, I've i said that millions of times when when looking at this again but i'm gonna give it a try one day i really like the lid this really nice scale lid it's like a snake skin collection lasting perfection in lemon is the concealer i use every day i really like this this is a staple in my life Too faced brow envy kit is a kit i've had for so long you guys are probably sick of me using this i use just the dark one mainly sometimes the light if i'm going a bit overboard of the dark and i want to tone it down this is a palette i really really love and i will definitely be keeping tropical sort of theme palette that i got all kinds of tropical things i really like it it's by Alamar Cosmetics. This is actually a palette I um, opened today, actually. I got this. This is Laura Lee's Los, Los Angeles Party Animal Palette. It's got blues, purples, pinks. Oh, it's really pretty. However, it doesn't really blend. I mean, it's what I'm wearing now. It might look all right from the distance, but it was a pain in the ass to put on. It doesn't blend very well. It's a bit chalky. I am going to keep it though, because I see its potential. I want to try and work on it. This is a lip pencil in Night Moth by MAC. I use this for my gothic looks. That's what it looks like. And yeah, I really like this for anything grungy and stuff. I've actually got a lip product here that I'm wearing now. Oh, it's by Smashbox. Be legendary? Be legendary. Yeah, I think it is. I don't know if I got that right. But it's a really nice lipstick and it's this dark red. And that's exactly what I look for in a lipstick anyway. Look how nice that is. This is the Master Series Palette 1 by Blank Canvas Cosmetics. This is a really good start into nude world, I would say, because it's got a bit of everything. I really like and appreciate the white. It comes in handy so often for looks. The battery in my camera just died, so I think this is the end of the video. I'm sorry, I assume this video is gonna be at least half an hour, 40 minutes. The last product I'm gonna end with is the MAC. <laughs> I love this um oh god what i mean it's rubbed off i can't even remember what this was called but i love this well that was really pointless of it of me but these this the mac colors lip products that look like this um they're really good and they smell this one smells like i don't know like brownies or something and it's this really nice nude once again i'm a big fan of nude i just think when you've got little lips like me having nudes is a savior oh my god i feel like a weight has lifted thank you very much for watching if you liked this video do give it a thumbs up because it took hours to make the editing will be terrible for this one i'm gonna hate my past self you can say that again thank you very much for watching uh subscribe to my channel to be notified every time i make a brand new video because i make videos every three to two days follow me on social media such as twitter facebook and instagram bye